Hello, my name is Ann Walsh. I'm a lay missionary of the Most Holy Redeemer from North America, from St. John's, Newfoundland in Canada. And I'm also chair of the General Secretariat for Partnership in Mission for the Redemptorists Worldwide. Who are the Redemptorists? Well, the Redemptorists are a great family in the heart of the church and reaching out to the world. We consist of priests, brothers, and students. We are lay missionaries of the Most Holy Redeemer, Redemptorist associates or laity, co-workers, and collaborators. There are three things that unite this great Redemptorist family. First of all, we're united by a common mission. All members of the family are called to and share the mission of proclaiming the good news of the plentiful redemption of Jesus Christ to the most abandoned, the most wounded, to those who have never heard the good news or who've never heard it as good news for them. Redemptors proclaim the good news by the witness of our lives and by word. Once upon a time, we thought that the mission field was in foreign lands. Today, we know better. The mission field can be on the internet, on social media, at the local market, in your workplace where you volunteer, on the street where you live, or even in your own home. With this broadening sense of the mission field, we realize that we need, yes, ordained priests and brothers, but they might not be out in the market, in the offices, the classrooms, the gyms, and the parlors and kitchens where the good news of the love and mercy of Jesus Christ must be proclaimed today by witness as well as word. We need good lay people, good, loving, generous, gifted, and skilled lay people. Wherever there are wounded people, wherever there is someone hungry for good news, you'll find members of the Redemptor's family reaching out and proclaiming the good news by witness and word. Why? Well, this brings us to the second thing that unites all members of the Redemptor's family, whether lay or ordained, our heart. Having a Redemptorist heart means that we have a special love and concern for those on the edges of church and society, the ones who've never heard the good news or never thought it was for them, the poor, the outcasts. We don't wait for them to come to us. We go out to them. We speak in a language they understand. So if you have a heart that seems to have a radar for the poor and abandoned, then you might just be called to be a member of the Redemptress family. And because the edges might be in our own homes, on the streets where we live, in our workplaces or the shelters or soup kitchens where we volunteer, the Redemptress family has to be able to expand and reach out into all those corners. It takes all of us, and we need people from all kinds of fields and professions and backgrounds. The third thing that characterizes a member of our Redemptress family is love. All members of the Redemptress family are motivated by love. We have a sense of how deeply God has loved us. We know how crazy that love of God is, and we're compelled to share it. God's love and mercy is plentiful, abundant, and in the service of this amazing God, we sometimes find ourselves being called out of our comfort zone and doing things that we would never do otherwise. So in this great Redemptress family, we need all kinds of people, and there are different forms or ways to belong. If you have a special place in your heart for the poor and most abandoned, if you find that you've made choices in your life that direct you toward those most in need, if you have gifts or skills that can be used to reach out to those on the edges, then you might just be called to be a member of this Redemptress family.